Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about throwing away code. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer, are you willing to throw away days worth of code if you suddenly find an alternative approach that makes more sense? It depends. So this is where I'm going to raise my return on investment, cost value ratio flag and say it comes down to cost value. It's like asking, uh, are you willing to move to another apartment if you know you find a nicer one? That depends. How much this did the one, or how much does it cost? Like, is it worth the move? Are you going to get something from it that you're not getting right now? And does it feel worth it to you? Same deal with anything, really. Uh, and it's the same thing with code. If I work on something and I find that there are a few small issues with something and it could be slightly nicer, but I also realize that it's not the end of the world. If it could be a little bit nicer, it's not really going to make it. I mean, there's a lot of software developers that I truly resent. Uh, for doing this thing, uh, or I just get tired when that, like, yeah, I've had that conversation a million times where you write something in slightly, a slightly different way than they prefer, and they go, oh, why did you write it this way? You could just write it this way, right? And I ask, could you please show me how you would like it to be written? And then they change, like, two characters so that it's slightly nicer so like that their mental gremlin can be satisfied and I just completely like emotionally I suspect it would be similar to if I had to murder somebody like you just kind of leave your body and you just do it and you know shut all off all your emotions and then I just change it and I write CR fix and then I move on with my day and I've done this so many times not murdered people but made these sorts of emotional distancing types of things uh, from everything from oh this variable name is slightly worse than I would like and I ask what would you like to have as the variable name because the idiot can't realize that I couldn't think of something nicer and therefore it is named what it is and then the best part is when they say oh no I don't really know I just would like it to be nicer okay then maybe we could keep this name until you can come up with something that is nicer. Yeah, and then you move on with your day. So th there's a lot of that going on. And so if that is your problem, then no. For sure not. I would not throw away a, like, you know, a, 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 any code, doesn't matter if it's a few days worth or if it's just a few minutes worth of something to fix something where the return on doing so is almost nothing. On the other hand, if I see that, I mean, that doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Like, I've seen code, guys, I've been in projects where the investment is not a few days, it's a few years. And I can immediately say that this is not going to scale. Like your use, the use case for the system has changed, and because it has changed, the it doesn't matter how little you want to throw this away. It's the only sensible thing to do because you're trying to, as I like to say, you're trying to make a pear into an apple. You're upset that you have a pear or an apple, like, and you want the other thing, but you, th these are different things. I don't doesn't really matter. You can try to like. Mm, get it into the right shape but it's never going to be the same thing and this is one of the reasons by the by guys why people started using APIs instead of HTML pages like those classic web pages because people realized that uh, when you're only doing browser types of things like the client is the browser well then HTML makes a lot of sense and it used to be the case guys way back when before APIs become the, became the standard that that's how you did it because everybody thought about the web or like the way that we were using the internet as just a way to show web pages but then people realize that there's actually too much information associated like you're because when you're doing HTML you're locking your data into like all of this markup which is not really what you want for some systems some systems just wants to trade information and so we realized that by decoupling HTML from 
the actual data that it's going to show or so forth. You can have both. You can combine them, create a web page, or you can just fetch the raw data for whatever like other system needs it or so forth. And the same sort of deal is why you try to get the right architectures early on. This is notoriously difficult. It's very, very difficult because of this exact thing. You might build something and invest in it because it makes a lot of sense at this exact moment. And then a little further further down the line, you realize that you made a, a few assumptions that are no longer correct. And now you want to make something or build something that doesn't really fit into how you already structure things. And so now, as you said, you might have to throw away some code. And that's very sad because a lot of people think about throwing away code as something that is bad. It's not bad. It's actually a very good thing. Business people, in many cases, think about that as throwing away money, when the reality is that it is like shedding weight. And that's the way I like to think about it. So an example would be take the car industry. So it used to be the case that we built cars in a certain way, like, you know, in the early days of automotive, we had cars that looked a certain way. And over time, in some cases, the cars grew in size or like different components on the car grew and they shrunk they, and so forth. So like the designs evolve and sometimes they get bigger, sometimes they get smaller. But by today's standards, the old car, the cars of old, they don't meet the, you know, they don't meet the criteria anymore. That doesn't mean that all the cars in between were a mistake. It was a learning experience. And that is what evolution is. It's taking what you have right now, building on top of that thing so that you can see what, what comes out of that, and then reiterating over and over and over and refining, 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 refining. That is exactly what you're doing. And the trick, I argue, to good software architecture and not having to throw away as much code because as there's a difference between throwing away code that you don't need anymore, shedding weight, and throwing away code and rewriting it because you made a mistake, if that makes sense. And in order to avoid making too many mistakes, your code should be as loosely coupled and as disposable as you can possibly make it. And an example of that would be, as I was saying, you real people realize that if we just separate the data from the view, creating an API and an HTML page or things like that, we can actually have both, but we're not locked in to only showing data or sending data to a browser. So what I want you to take away from this is that, yes, I'm very willing to throw away a day's worth of code. I'm actually, hap I'm actually usually more happy when I get to throw away code than I am when I have to maintain it. Because for software developers, the less code we have, the better for us. And so if we can get to throw away software or the code that isn't really useful anymore, or is a bunch of legacy or stuff like that, that's actually very, very good for us. Because it's actually, as I said, like shedding weight. It's just gonna speed up all the other stuff and make it less likely that we have bugs in that area of the code. The key thing to understand though is that you shouldn't do that if there's no value in it. If you're throwing away code just so you can rewrite it with like a small tweak which doesn't really make a much much of a difference, there's really no reason to throw away the code, then you shouldn't do it because now you're just trying to satisfy that mental gremlin you have where you're trying to make software perfect and it's never going to be perfect because soft, like, you, like it's your, your, in, your idea of what good code looks like is going to change as you mature as a person and as time goes along, you're going to realize that things that were genius la yesterday are actually not that smart by today's standards. And that's why we have this thing calling, uh, called iterative working. You create something right now that makes sense, try to build upon it for the next step, and you continue that process for as long as you can until you realize that, damn, I have to go back now, throw away some stuff and start over again, but this time you change the way that you did the iterations, so you refine. And that is exactly how most things in our society actually evolves. They go, they go from starting as a starting concept, you refine, refine, refine until you make a few mistakes and then you go back a little bit to your roots and you realize that, yeah, if I just change this, I can actually continue refining, refining, refining. And software works very much the same way. So good rule of thumb, 
throw away code that you don't need anymore, but don't just you know rewrite things because you feel like it. Always have a purpose with why you're doing the rewrite and try the best to the best of your abilities to make good strong decisions, loosely coupled code, disposable code when you're designing your systems because that way rewriting or throwing things away actually is very easy for you. Have a great day.